And welcome back to the Inland Sports Show on Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM. Plus, we are live and amplified around the world on the Inland Sports YouTube channel. So please watch us live there and hit that subscribe button. It's a huge weekend of basketball at Cal Baptist University. A couple of home games for the men's team to open up the year, Friday and Saturday night. And it all tips off with the big, the Midnight Madness. Do you guys actually go till midnight, Coach Croy? No, we don't. We bumped, <laughs> we bumped it up a little bit early, especially because uh, we're playing games this week, so we don't want the guys going to bed too late. But it's a tremendous event. It's got great tradition, and uh, they keep making it better and better every year. I mean, I, the stage is out, the lights are out, the cheerleaders are here. I mean, this is a huge deal. Kind of builds that excitement, right, for that first home game inside Van Dyne. It, it does. You know, there's a, this is really an electric environment to play in, and uh, we're counting on our student body. And, you know, CBU puts out a great product, and, and again, they make Midnight Madness. They seem to make it better every year, and it kind of kicks off the basketball season, lets everyone know, hey, it's time to compete. So you've got two home games here inside Van Dyne this weekend to kind of kick everything off. I looked at your schedule. I think you've got like eight in a row at home to start the year. That's got to be a great thing, right, to get that early chemistry? No question. We love playing in Van Dyne. It's our last season in here. We wanted to maximize our opportunities, so we're very fortunate to be playing at home. And, and uh, you know, we really want the entire community of Riverside to come out and support us, so we're very excited about it. What do you hear some of the feedback from the other schools that come here inside Van Dyne? It's nice and cozy. The fans are crazy. That's why they're called the crazies here at Cal Baptist. What's kind of the feedback when they have to come into a place like this where it's so tough to win and it feels like those crazy fans are right on top of you? You know, I think the, the feedback's twofold. I think, one, uh, it's a tough place to play in, tough environment, uh, tough to get out of here with a W. That's the way we want it to be uh, for our opponents. Uh, but also, you know, I think... I think the student athletes love playing here. Uh, you know, it feels like college basketball should be. That's hard to get in California. There's so many things going on, but I think we've got a very unique culture here at CBU and in the city of Riverside. And I think overall the student athletes love coming here because it's, you know, it feels like the college basketball they grew up watching. We're talking with Rick Croy, the head basketball coach here at Cal Baptist University. Coach, do a little name dropping. Who are the guys that we're going to be hearing a lot about this season for your team? Well, Michael Smith's the uh, you know returning conference MVP. I think he's improved. Preseason player of the year. Right? Yeah, preseason player of the year. He's a you know he's a senior. Um, he's when we first got the job here, he started with us. He was one of our first recruits. He's got tremendous experience. Really improved his game in a lot of areas. So, you know, Lancer fans know what his game's about. But I think they're going to see an even better player. Uh, Kalidou Dioff's had a tremendous off season uh, in terms of uh, conditioning, strength. I think he's got good experience under his belt. I think he's going to have a great year. Um, Marquise Mosley's an improved player. We've got a couple great transfers. Jason Todd from Portland. Uh, Casey Norris from Loyola Marymount. And then we got some exciting young freshmen. So uh, it's going to be fun. We, you know, for the last few years, we've relied, last two seasons, we've re relied primarily on veteran players. And this year, we're going to need some freshmen to step up. Uh, in particular, Bull Cole from uh, Australia and Dejon Davis out of Oakland. So we're very excited about the prospects of those two guys. Sounds like a good blend. New guys, transfers, the veterans who are coming back that you're expecting big things from. So you must be excited about this season, picked as uh, you know the team to beat in the Pac West Conference. Yeah, and uh, that's exciting. You know, I, I tell our guys all the time that you know, the preseason rankings are really a tribute to uh, what the team did last year, and our guys finished well. We've got some good returning players. I left out Jordan Heading. I think he's an improved player at the two-guard combo position. I think, uh, I think he's going to have a great year. So we're very excited. Uh, but, you know, ultimately, no matter how good you are, you're going to be in tough games. And uh, that's why we're counting on our fans to come out so we can uh, grind out a few of these tough ones in front of them and, and really do it together. Well, Coach, we love Van Dyne. It's a great gym. But how exciting is it to see that the new arena going up just not far from here on campus and knowing that you're going to be in there next season and it's going to be it's going to be beautiful it's going to be state of the art it's going to be awesome yeah it's been pretty incredible for us um, you know we, our locker rooms here in Van Dyne and uh, when we go to lift when we go to get our weight training sessions in with our strength coach we walk across campus and we walk by that facility just about every morning so uh, for the guys to kind of get that visual from the thing, you know, going from the ground up to the steel to now, uh, you know, probably about 60% of the way done. It's, it's been incredibly inspiring. Midnight Madness here at Cal Baptist. Are you in the slam dunk competition? Are you going to throw some down? Or? No, I haven't. Uh, <laughs> no, no. I, uh, I haven't dunked in a long time, so I'll stay out of this one. 
That's uh, head Cal, uh, Cal Baptist University men's coach Rick Croy here breaking down uh, his opening weekend for the Lancers and, of course, the big Midnight Madness event.